Alright guys, today we're gonna go to Lake Mead. Just got some Jack in the Box. Uh, last time we went to Lake Mead, it was about three and a half feet lower. So we're gonna go out there today, see how it looks. We're gonna go at the jet ski and just have some fun. See what we can find. See you guys there. Alright, so we got some closures on September 12th. Just so you guys know, the ramps will be closed 6 a.m. to 11 a.m. They're going to be moving the docks back a little bit because the actual part where you walk on is starting to get water on it. So you actually have to walk in a couple inches of water just to get onto the dock. So if you guys are wondering about the fishing pier and why it says it's closed, about 100 feet out of water. There ain't no fishing happening on that pier. Alright, let's go see if we can launch right here. This whole area right here is pretty solid actually. It's not like other areas that you see where it's like brick sand and you step in and go down to your knees. This area is a lot more stiff and firm. So I could probably back my car in quite a bit, maybe about at least 10 feet and still be okay. So we're gonna go ahead and launch right here. It looks pretty good still. And just so you guys know, I'm pretty new to this whole jet ski thing. If you guys have any tips or suggestions for me, you can feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm sure maybe it might help somebody else one day, but I'm always looking for tips. I've learned a lot of things the hard way. I've broken a couple things already, you know, a lot of hard lessons learned. So far, I'm really enjoying launching at PWC Beach instead of using the launch ramps. I know a lot of people with bigger boats probably can't do this, but if you do have a jet ski, this is definitely the way to go. Instead of walking 10 minutes back to your car, parking it far away, walking all the way back to the ramps, and say you forgot something, and you're taking that hike back up to your car, this saves all the trouble, all the walking, you can leave stuff in your car, ride, and you have a little home base that's really not too far, it's just right off shorts. It's a great area. I do highly recommend anybody coming here. they're actually starting to take these tubes out there were five all the way down to the water now there's only three the other two are pretty much almost gone now so a piece of history that's being removed at this point oh man that's nasty over here let's go check out this uh, intake tube Before on that next ring, so I'm starting to get back up there a little bit more. Man, look at that thing. I can't believe how much water has filled up since then. Man, that thing's almost back underwater. Kind of crazy. That thing is almost back underwater. Let's go check out this boat over here. Alright, we're gonna leave that there for now. Let's go check out this boat. Got a 
got no shoes on because I left my sandals in the car. Way to go, Alex. I'm not gonna get too close to that. There it is. All right, so today the lake sits at 1,044.31 feet above sea level. That's approximately four feet above the lowest level that it has gotten. So let's hope that it keeps going up. Let's hope it keeps getting rain. And let's hope for a lot of snow this winter. All right, guys. So you can obviously see why they're going to be moving the ramps. The water level has risen so much that the dock is actually a little bit underwater. And you have to walk in the water to actually get to the docks now at this point. So, we can see why they're moving them. This is a good sign. You know, hopefully the water level keeps rising. Bunches of water. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, help out our channel so we can keep doing these videos and keep you guys updated. Thank you. We'll see you guys next time.